Today we are going to take our patterning to a new level and make patterns that create a sense of a flower garden. So let's get started. I'm going to start using my small circle template and I'm going to create just a simple circle which is going to be the background of my flower. It doesn't matter where you put the circle, you get to decide. And then I'm going to make another circle with my small and maybe have it go off of my page over here. Now I'm using a new circle template. You can use just about anything that's round and turn it into a circle template. So this is um, a tape, uh, I guess a scotch tape for a tape dispenser. And it gives me um, a slightly smaller circle um, if I use the outside and an even smaller circle if I use the inside. So I'm going to use it to make new circles. Each circle is going to be a flower. And I want to have a little bit of space in between my flowers. I'm not overlapping this time. So I'm holding my tape and making my circle around it. And maybe I have another one here. You get to decide where you want those circles to go. And then I'm going to use the inside to make a small circle and maybe another small circle. Maybe, maybe another one that's a bigger one that's going off over here. Maybe a smaller one here, maybe a smaller one here. So the design is up to you. When you feel like it's pleasing, then you can stop. I think maybe I want another small one here. And sometimes it helps me to rotate my paper. And by looking at it from a new angle, I can decide if I need um, another one or not. I'm gonna put one there and here okay so it's okay if the number of circles that you have is different from mine it's not a problem so i'm going to start with one of my colors i have chosen um, kind of typical flower colors um, pink orange blue and purple but this same project could be beautiful if you use silver or gold or a mixture of them on the black it would look very sophisticated if you want to use just one of these colors that's fine um, or if you want to use other colors that you have available to you that's okay too it's up to you i'm starting with my pink make sure that it is shaken and primed and then I'm going to pick one of my circles, it doesn't matter which one, and I'm going to trace the outline. And you, you, uh, it's nice if it's round, but if it's not perfect, don't worry, you don't have to start over. This is just the background of a flower, and flowers are in nature, and nature is very rarely perfect. So you'll wanna prime your paint pen and really kind of get it flowing pretty well so that you have a pretty dense background for your flower. Now you you might notice that I'm rotating my paper so that I am also rotating my the direction of my pencil or paper or rather so that I am adjusting the direction of my paint strokes so that they are in a circle. That's just going to kind of help tell the story of this object as being round. And then if there are any paint strokes that are visible, then it's supporting the story that it is um, a round object, a circular object. Again, I'm priming quite a bit as I go. 
And if it doesn't have 100% coverage, that's okay. I do want to cover all of the background of this circle. So make sure that there's no black paper that's um, coming through. Okay, so that's pretty good for now. I'm going to cap that, come over, I'm gonna grab my orange. Make sure that it's shaken and primed and find another flower. Great, so now uh, these are the background colors of our flowers. And if you notice that um, they're not quite solid, now's a really good time to go over it with another layer of the same color. Great, so we're going to let that dry. We're going to come in between our flower backgrounds and add some leaves. So I'm going to start with the greens that I have available to me. And I'm going to start with my large light green. Make sure that it is shaken and primed. And we're going to make leaf shapes, super easy. The leaf shape is an oval or maybe it has points at the end and you can put the leaves pretty much anywhere that you want. So I'm going to put, I'm going to make a leaf here. Maybe there's another leaf here. I'm going to come over here. Maybe there's a leaf it's shaped like that. And maybe there's just one over there. Maybe here. There's one. And then maybe there's another one. And maybe you can just make them however you want, wherever you feel like they should be. There should be a leaf. Maybe here's one over here. And you can kind of make your own shapes. You can make like a long line that's kind of the stem and then make um, an oval on either side with pointed tips. That's a pretty good leaf, but there's different leaf shapes. So you can, yours don't have to look exactly like mine. Maybe this leaf goes off. And I'm going to change to my darker green. Continuing to make those leaf shapes. And I'll continue to make those leaf shapes. Kind of looks like an orange.
You could even make a leaf shape and then just color in the center like that. That's kind of neat. Make a little space. I kind of like that. So I might make another one over here. You can just all do all kinds of interesting things. And I like how that's creating the same shape, but a little bit of variety. So I'm gonna try one more place. One, two, and one more place, maybe here. Okay. Now I'm going to take my small green painter Make sure it's shaken and primed. And then I'm going to use it to make smaller, more delicate leaves. So maybe this flower has a stem that's coming off of it. And it has a little bubble leaf at the end. And then maybe it has these little bubble leaves opposite each other, going back toward the flower. And I'm going to do those little bubble, those little round, delicate um, leaves uh, throughout. So maybe this one has a stem. A little bubble leaf and then little bubble leaves. So just creating some visual texture and interest with our leaves. We come over here. Thank you. 